Hey guys, uh, this is Mike here. In today's video, I'm going to bring you the uh, ways of flashing the uh, Google Pixel C to a Linux OS uh, 15.1, which is the same version as the uh, Google Stock Android um, kind of version. And one of the reasons why I would want to do that is because of um, actually only a few things, right? Because Pixel C, uh, other Pixel device comes with night mode, uh, but this one doesn't have. Look at it. Uh, display itself they only have adaptive brightness they don't have a night mode it means um, they don't have blue screen filter and stuff and end up if i'm going to install a blue screen filter things will get popped up on the side and um, on the top with the message and stuff which which i don't know why right pixel devices have that uh, but pixel c doesn't so i think what i want to do now is to just install Linux os because they have more features uh, comparatively than the stock one and i wouldn't like all the on my tablet itself to have all the bloated one. That's the reason why I moved to Lineage so that I can actually install the smallest GS package available which is the Pico package. Okay then, uh, so let's just move on with the uh, steps to install Lineage OS to the Pixel C itself. Thing first, what you need to do is to uh, make sure that we enable whatever needs to be enabled. Like for example, you go back to here about Pixel C, put on the build number. Okay, and you have a developer option. So we'll go back out and uh, look at the system, developer option, enable. OEM unlocking is already, is already unlocked, so you don't have that happen. If you, it's the first time you are doing this, then make sure that you have this OEM unlocking enable. OEM unlock, enable. Else, then after that will be USB up debugging needs to be on. So once everything is done, so you're done. So first of all, make sure that you have ADB installed in your computer. So what you can do now is to plug your uh, this device into the um, <clears throat> into the PC itself. So actually, if you plug it in now, then it's get plugged into your PC. So you can actually go do a fast uh, ADB devices in your PC, and you should see something popped up from here, right? So let's just try doing that. ADB devices. So yeah, you see the screen here? So normally what we do is to just always allow and okay. So now you're done, right? You're connected. So let's just move on to the PC for the rest of the setup. Okay, uh, before we start, just make sure that you have uh, minimal ADB and fastboot installed. That's the lightest uh, package that you can install to enable ADB in your computer. Then the next thing is to do is to do ADB devices to ensure device is connected. As you can see now it's already connected. Then the next thing to do is to reboot the fast boot, which you can do by ADB reboot, boot, loader. Then your device should get rebooted into fast boot mode. So once you are there, then you wait for the device to get booted into fast boot mode. Okay, so once your device is in the fast boot mode, you can do a fast boot devices to ensure the device is connected. So as you can see, the device is connected now. Okay, so once your device is connected with fast boot, we can do a fast boot flash recovery TWRP recovery. Okay, now before we do that, we will need to make sure that we are in the <coughs> folder where we put in all the downloaded files. Then uh, the R slash W, as you can see now we have the TWRP. So what you need to do now is to fast boot slash recovery dwrp recovery now you just do it then we will flash recovery so once you have recovery flash the next thing you need to do is to boot into the um, recovery partition right so we can try doing fast boot reboot recovery Uh, then basically end of the day you will need to actually reboot your machine and go into recovery um, manually right so next thing we need to do is to yeah power down your reboot your device and boot into it using your adb mode so now you need to do a fast boot reboot okay now what we do is to go to adb devices then we do a ADB reboot recovery.
So the device will be booted into recovery mode. Then it should be in the TWRP recovery mode. So ultimately once it gets booted into that, then we can actually perform the reset from there. Okay, since you're in recovery mode now, so what we normally will do is do a wipe and just do a factory reset. So once that is done, you can go back and um, you go back again. Then the next thing we need to do is to make sure that we have the zip files inside for us to flash. So what we do now is to go back to the computer and do an ADB push, install the file into the device itself. Okay, once you have uh, do a factory reset on your tablet, what you can do now is to do an ADB push. Uh, what do you call that? Your file, which is the lineage OS to slash SD card partition just wait for it to finish pushing then after that you can push your G apps once you are done with that we can proceed with the installation okay so once you are done pushing the files to the tablet itself we can actually move on to a tablet for the rest of the setup okay so once you have that uh, file push you can just put it on install then you can just choose Lineage OS and just swipe to confirm flash, right? It will start flashing. So we just need to wait for the flash to finish. Okay, one that was done. When that is done, you can have a few options. Um, you can go back um, and install GApps again so that you don't need to do it again so this is a pico package with the smallest one available so you just do that and do a flash right and one of the reason why i'm not doing it together i don't know sometimes they have issues when i flash them together so i'll normally just do a separate flashing in case uh just in case everything it's uh to make sure everything is fine right so just wait for this to finish and we can reboot the tablet and we should be in lineage os Okay, so once you are done with the with whatever stuff that has been done here, what you can do now is just go back, then do a reboot, uh, reboot system. This one no need, this one no need. Just leave it as it is. Then do not install, and just wait for the system to get rebooted. We can pluck out this now. Okay. This message will be there when you have your bootloader unlocked. So normally it will need to wait for 30 seconds before it start putting it. So that is the thing. Unless you want to relock your bootloader. But for now, I'll just leave it on. Since I might need to flash it with something else. So I do not want to keep on having issues with erasing and stuff like that. You hear the beep sound? It's rebooting. Okay, so now you can see that the device is booted. You can do a start. Start and um, you can skip this for now. Continue. Uh, just yeah, next all the way. Next. Uh, not now. Skip anyway. And free up space. All those stuff. We can leave it as it is. Accept. Then this lineage OS. Oh, what is that? Yeah, lineage OS. And just do next. And we're done. I think. Okay, so now we have Lineage 18.1 on your. So if you take a look at the settings, you have your system about tablet. So as you can see now, we are running on Lineage OS 8.1, 15.1 like we instead, right? So, um, like what I've said before, it's all about the display. There is a live display where can they change the calibration mode. The only thing about Lineage is um, I still think it's best if they have a, uh, I don't think they have a dark mode here, ambient display, uh, yeah they don't have a dark mode. So if they have a dark mode here it would be good but I can actually do that installing uh, Nova Launcher so that is not a big thing. Uh, okay that's all for today folks. Uh, this is how you actually flash your Lineage OS uh, back to, uh, I mean flash your Pixel C. 
uh, to a Lineage OS 15.1 if you would prefer more feature-based things and less Google Clubware. Right, so that's um, that's all I have ultimately. So um, I mean, ultimately, Pico package is a good thing because you can actually install whatever Google services you need and not everything. Because as for my case, I don't use a lot of Google services except for mail and all that stuff. So that way you can install it separately. Okay guys, that's all I have for today. If you have any question, please uh, leave a comment down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And hope to see you again soon. And do subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing. And um, I'll see you again soon. Bye.